Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. Today, we are going to do another couple races. We're in our second season of the Dirt series. We've got $5,100. Before I hop into the next race, I just want to see what we can buy. So with the trade-in value we get from our current aero package, we could get a lot more front downforce, a lot more rear downforce, less drag, less weight. So I think that's a pretty good option. We also have this option for grip. So we've got better front grip, better rear grip, better weight, better durability. It's also a good option. Yeah, this motor doesn't seem to make sense with what we've got currently. I don't think honestly till we get the performance package that it'd even be worth buying another engine. So I think the suspension is the way to go. I think the better grip will hopefully get us off the corners better because I feel like that's been the biggest issue I've had. All right, we've got $768 left. All right, so today's first race is Anoka City Speedway. So our previous best lap is 17.3. I am making no changes right now. We just have the better suspension set up. So let's see how we do. I think a gearing change is definitely in order. And I'll probably need to change the suspension settings just based on how the car feels it's super floaty like it's definitely digging out of the corner better I think but there's always something I can change yeah see we're already three tenths better with no changes and I think we can make some big changes and really get better It's just nice being able to go through traffic and actually turn while you're, you know, going around. You're not just sliding wherever the car wants to go. You actually feel like you're steering. Like your steering does something. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make some changes. And let's see how we do after that. All right, I made some changes. I shorten the gear a good bit might have overdone it but we are about to find out our best lap four was a 17 zero so let's see what we can do now Running into someone probably doesn't help. And of course, because I was slow crossing the line, this isn't gonna be a good lap either, but at least we've got some clear track, so maybe the next one we'll get to see how fast we really are. It's gonna ruin this lap as well. So we were still faster even with me clipping the bottom and almost spinning out. So seems like good changes. And 
I know we've only run five laps or so, but thankfully the car doesn't seem to be building super tight or super free, so I'll probably run another lap or two just to see how it goes and then I'll qualify. So we got down in the 16s, right, in a 16.8, and a 16.9. So I think, I think the car is in a good place. I think I'm going to go ahead and qualify. Wow, guys are in the 15s. So we're still... We're still well off pole pace. I'm sure there's a lot more I could do with tuning and stuff, but I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making guesses and hoping it goes well. So I'm, you know, slowly getting better at it as I make changes and realize what helps and what doesn't, but definitely not an expert in this stuff. All right, let's see where we're <clears throat> so 16.6, that's the best lap we've run yet. Let's see where that slots us in. Okay. We qualified top five. That's awesome. So we're going to start third in the heat. So we got a really good run into the first corner. Got the lead. But yeah, I'm sure there's still a lot more suspension tuning I could do to really get off that corner better. But thankfully it's a pretty short run, just five laps, so I think I'll be able to hold a pretty good spot. Should stay in the top two or three. Get a good spot for the main. Third place is starting to catch me a little bit. I think I'm just entering a lot deeper into the corner because the gap builds going into the corner and then seems to drop on the straightaway. Maybe not. Now it seems like I'm pulling away a little bit. Doing that obviously doesn't help. But thankfully, it's the last lap. He's not going to catch me. Nice work, kid. Man, in five laps, somebody got lapped. So Kato's obviously way faster. And it seems like anybody else. All right, A main, we're starting second. Second row, that's what I meant. So this is another race where I think we probably have a chance of squeaking out the top five. The big thing is going to be just at the beginning staying close. Yeah, I'm not going to lead a lap. Ten 
So we got 10 to go. Based on our long run speed, I think we'll build better. Because I did that a little bit longer run in practice. Uh, looks like everyone spun behind me. So that probably helps our top five chances. He was definitely parking the bus on the bottom line. And I'm still not good enough to drive around people. So if I'm faster, I feel like they're just gonna get run over. I'm sure if I could suspension tune this better, I could probably drive around people, but being on a controller and the car not being great, I just kind of go the best I can. And unfortunately, he was in the way. It looks like third is definitely catching us. Fourth place, I think that gap is staying pretty close to two and a half, three seconds. Not changing a whole lot. Five laps to go. Yeah, but just five to go as long as I don't do anything royally dumb. I think we'll get top three. I'm probably not going to fight Rafter too hard because I don't want to get wrecked trying to hold on a second. Let's hope that's the only time I get into the wall of this race. Looks like there's lap traffic up ahead already. And that is our leader that was spun out. Man, so I'd be in the lead if I had held off Rafter. I wonder if I can get to him. It's going to take a really good corner. I'm going to send it. My goodness. I won. <laughs> I did not think I was going to be close enough, and I completely forgot that Kato was going to be right behind us, so I just went to block him, and thankfully, Kato didn't pass me. So that's a win. It only took the fourth race in our second season, so cool that's a win so I just spent like the last 10 minutes watching the replay trying to get a good screenshot for the uh, for the thumbnail and like look how close this finish was that was ridiculous I cannot believe like obviously I sent it that was ridiculous but so close. I'm also now realizing that this was a lap car that I beat to the line and that the yellow nose was the guy that got second. So this wasn't as close of a finish as I thought, but this is a cool picture, right? Yeah. And we finally got a point for leading a lap. What a race weekend. I'd like to thank Crazy Jacks for coming on board this year. They've helped out a lot. Steve's Quick Mart, been with me since day one. Senor Taco, Schneiders, all the boys back home at the engine shop. We won. <laughs> Twenty.
$2,800. So I would say that that suspension upgrade definitely helped out. So we are officially NASCAR Weekly Racing Series presented by Dodge feature winners. Awesome. Cannon wins. I'm going to print this out and put it on my wall. Finishing in first place after an intense race, Austin Cannon dominated the field at Anoka. While talking to reporters, Cannon blurted out, Basically, I own this track. I don't know what it is about Anoka, but I seem to play swell here every time I show up. Well, that's not true. I didn't dominate anything. I squeaked it out on the last lap. And I love how the picture of the car, it looks all nice and pristine in Victory Lane. They're in a clean corner on that car. I smashed the heck out of it. Passing for the lead to get the win, but... It don't matter, baby. We're winners. So we qualified fifth. Got that 105 points since we got the lap lead bonus point. So we are fifth in the standings. I believe we were seventh after the last race. So we're close to Genter and Grimstead. Finger and Kato have quite a bit of lead on us, but... I mean, two top fives in a row, finally a win, like, night and day difference from even just the end of last season, first couple races this season. Super stoked. Oh, and remember last episode when I said, oh, we don't need to add that bonus. Win first place in a race, that's not happening this year. Guess who was wrong? So JR's Chicken Shack says lead a lap, get $500. Lead the most laps, Green Witch Haulers, $900. To go building supply, win first place in a race, $1,000. So fifth or better gets me $500. I'm under contract with Senor Taco. Place 10th or better. 300 so I feel like first place like that win was a fluke if Kato didn't spin we weren't gonna win but I think leading a lap because this is like basically double the reward by the time the multiplier goes in so as long as I can lead a lap every other race it should give me the same amount of money so if I can start consistently leading, you know, a lap every race or so, I think that'd be worth it. So, yeah. So we've got 3,500. Let's hop in the next race, see how it goes. Extra fairground speedway. All right, we're gonna hop into practice, same as the last race. Not gonna make any changes, just gonna see how we do. We got JR's Chicken Shack on the back of the car now. Looks better than that Schneider's logo, I think. Be cool if you could pick colors so I could make it, you know, like purple. Purple with the white and the black outline, I think would look super smooth, but even with the flames, it still looks pretty cool. So the car is definitely still slidey. I think I need to tighten it up a good bit. But I, I think our lap time is gonna be better. I think I can also maybe shorten the gear a hair as you can see there's still people that are way faster but huh we still haven't beat our best lap record so far 
I think I'm just getting so loose off the corner and it could be just the setup that was in before it doesn't really work too well with our current suspension package that might be the problem so I'm gonna make some changes see if we can't get some speed in it all right I made some quick suspension changes I didn't touch the gearing just based on where our red line is I think if I make any adjustments it's gonna be you know about bouncing off the chip going into the corner and based on where the peak torque is I just don't think that's the best move to make but the big thing is just keep the car from floating when I'm leaving the corner should probably tighten it up into the corner a little bit as well Oh, the guy that hit me just spun out. See, that seems like a much better corner exit than what we did before. I still think I'm pretty loose getting into the corner. Okay, so we have bettered our best lap before. So that's good to see. Yeah, I still think we're getting too loose in. So I'll make some adjustments to work on that. But we are steadily dropping. That was another half a tenth that lap, so... car definitely seems to be improving which is all I can really ask for this track is pretty much flat out the whole way around so having good speed is definitely paramount yeah as soon as I turn in the back end just wants to slide if I did that in the cup series in 2023 that would be a weak suspension Oh well, let's do some more changes. All right, I just made a quick air pressure change, so let's see what that'll do for it. Car definitely seems a lot more stable, which is exactly what I wanted to see. Yeah, we dropped another three tenths, so I think we are on the right path with these adjustments. That lap was obviously not great because we hit someone. And he just chopped our nose. Hey, he's the one I sent it in on for the win the last race. Maybe that's why he chopped my nose. Race car drivers never forget, right? Alright, I think it's time to qualify. Twenty-four. still just like last race we're still a long way off from pole speed but I don't know I'm sure there's a good way to kind of mock up for qualifying and you know set up better for that but my worry is I'll forget to change the settings back to race settings and then blow a motor or something Got a little too sideways off the corner there, so this is not going to be a good lap. Hopefully we can still stay in the top 10 and 
We'll see. Yeah, that was seven or eight tenths slower than one of the practice laps. Okay, eighth, so we'll start fourth in heat number two. I feel like that jump could have been better if I didn't run into the back of Ginter, I think it was. Finger is gone. He's already got almost a two second lead. way too low and slid up the track so I'll have to not do that again yeah that looked a lot better finger is still just driving away I think he's second in the championship right behind Kato and they're both well ahead of me like I said in the last video, I don't think championship is a, you know, a real aspiration this season. I think our goal to get the sponsor bonus is top 10 in the championship, but realistically I think we can finish top 5 and then maybe try to make a real championship run next year, but... For now, I think it's just get top fives, try to lead laps, get wins, get all the bonuses so I can upgrade the car. Alright, seems like the lap times got better, so that was nice. Not going to make any changes, just going to head off to the A main. So we're starting outside second row. I think my only chance of leading a lap is just going to be dive to the bottom off the start. Try not to run into anybody. That was what killed my momentum last time. Fish tailing definitely didn't help right there. And yeah, we're not leading a lap this race. This car does not get up to speed fast enough on this track. Oh, they crash behind me. just stinks like you know in the first two corners that unless something crazy happens you're not winning is this how formula one drivers feel like they see max go into turn one and like well this was fun the guy that spun out is up there holding leaders up not enough though, I don't think we're passing anybody. We are getting past though because I did a really bad job on that corner. Yeah, that was eight tenths slower than my fastest lot to this point. Getting another motor and Getting some more horsepower just to accelerate better would be nice, but I do think it was the right decision to go with the suspension upgrade, but I definitely think if we do an aero upgrade next, that should help with just having, you know, better downforce, but the less drag I think will be the big big positive on that I 
it seems Truett in sixth is starting to catch me, but I don't think it's by enough to worry about getting past, so I think we're pretty much slotted into fifth. I'm going to stay here, barring anything crazy again. traffic gets so spread out here that like last race Cato spun out because he ran into five lap cars at once and just didn't have anywhere to go but go. this track being twice as big there's a lot more room for the lap cars to spread out Just getting onto the back stretch and the leader is already getting the checkered flag. So there's definitely still a ways to go to pick up speed at a big track like this, but top five, that's some money, that's some championship points, so can't complain. Alright, so we made $1,800, we got the Qualify 10th bonus, and we got the Place 5th or Better bonus, so that's cool. Only $3 in aerodynamic repair. Finger wins. After an outstanding race at Baxter, Ted Finger is at the top of the standings and looking good for the League Cup this year, but don't award the League Trophy just yet. Austin Cannon is in fourth place and looking to make a move with five races remaining. Okay, so we've moved up again on the points. That's nice. So I qualified eighth, finished fifth, fourth in the standings. Okay, so we've put a bit of a gap on the guys behind us. And we're 20 points back of Cato, so he didn't have a good race there at all. Ginter's only 10 points ahead of him. He doesn't have a win yet. So Fingers won three, Kato has a win, and I have the other one in the five races so far. But yeah, Fingers 116 points ahead already. So I'd have to make up 20, 24 points each race just to win. So don't don't see that happening but hey crazy things have happened i didn't think i was gonna win that race and then kato spun with a couple laps to go so who knows all right so i'm gonna end this episode off here we have fifty four hundred dollars so even with the upgrade we bought we actually have more money than what we started the episode with so that's cool we won our first race super excited about that we got two top fives, which is three top fives in a row, I believe. So definitely good momentum going. Um, let me know how you liked this episode. This one, I showed more of the practice and talked about the changes we did versus like the episode before, which was a lot more just, you know, more races and showing more just the racing. So let me know what you guys prefer. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.